Hello. Welcome to this Bitdefender Enterprise tutorial. Bitdefender Gravity Zone Email Security is a comprehensive email protection solution that covers all email security needs. It offers your organization complete business email protection that goes beyond malware and other traditional threats, such as spam, malware, large-scale phishing attacks, and malicious URLs. It also stops modern, targeted and sophisticated email threats, including business email compromise and CEO fraud. In this tutorial, we will show you how to configure DKIM signing for your email domain if you have chosen to scan outbound email using email security. In this scenario, the last SMTP server to touch the outbound emails on their route to their recipients is the SMTP cluster of Gravity Zone Email Security. Therefore, it is recommended that, if DKIM signing is used, Gravity Zone Email Security needs to be the last that signs the emails before they reach the recipient. You will need administrative access to your domain's DNS service in order to operate the changes. Also, you will need administrative access to Gravity Zone Web Console, including the Email Security Console. The DKIM is a similar concept to SPF, but it goes a step further, by using cryptographic signing of the email messages. The email server sending the message will sign it using a private key and add a header value to it, called a selector. In the DNS system for that domain, under a subdomain defined by the selector value, in the form of selector dot underscore domain key dot domain name, a record exists containing the public key for this key pair. A receiving email server will check the selector of the message and interrogate the DNS of the originating domain with it, obtaining the public key. Then, it can check the message signature, using that public key. If the check passes OK, it means that the message was sent by an official SMTP server for that domain. If the check fails, then it means that the email might have been spoofed by some malicious actor. In our case, the TXT record for DKIM, named google.underscore-domain-keys.bdgs2.dns-cloud.net, exists, since G Suite Gmail was the one signing the messages, so we had it configured like this, before adding Gravity Zone email security. However, if you configure the outbound messages to go through email security, this will break the signing done by Google, causing the messages to fail DKIM testing and look spoofed. In order to solve this we need to configure Gravity Zone email security to do the DKIM signing itself, and, also, add the correct DNS record for this. First, let's configure the DNS records for DKIM signatures. Go into Gravity Zone Email Security Web Console. Access Products, Email Security, Product Configuration, Domains. For each domain, in the right side, you have a green star, saying DKIM. For each domain in this list, you need to create a TXT DNS record, named ussems.underscore-domainkey.domainname. Each TXT record needs to have the corresponding value taken from Gravity Zone Email Security. In our scenario here, we only have one domain, so we will only create one DKIM record. Be aware that you can have multiple DKIM records for a domain name, if the selector value is different. Okay, the DNS records are created correctly now. We have two possibilities. You either choose to enable DKIM signing for all of the email domains in your Gravity Zone email security account, or you can choose to only activate DKIM signing for just some of the domains in your Gravity Zone email security account.
To enable DKIM signing for all the domains in your Gravity Zone email security account, do the following. Go into Products, Email Security, Message Rules. Here, change the value of View System Rules to On. Look for a rule named Default Apply DKIM Signing. Make sure that it is active by looking to the right of the rule. It should be green and say on. If all of the above was done, you now need to contact Bitdefender Enterprise Support to activate DKIM signing feature for your email security account. Let's now talk about the scenario in which you have multiple domains in your Gravity Zone email security account, but want to activate DKIM signing only for one or more of them. But not all. To achieve this, first, follow the previous steps to locate the system rule named Default Apply DKIM Signing. Once you have located this rule, click on the right side of it to set it to Off. This way, Global DKIM signing will not be active anymore. Go to Custom Rule Data section and create a new Rule Data. In it, add on separate lines the names of the domains for which you want to do DKIM signing. Save the rule. Now, go back into Message Rules and add a new rule. Give it a name. In the Selected Conditions, add the following. Direction condition, match outbound mails. DKIM enabled condition, match true. Sender condition, matches the custom rule data that we have created earlier. Then, in the selected actions column, drag the DKIM signing action. Configure it to select a 1024 key. Save the rule and move it to the first position in the rule set. If all of the above was done, you now need to contact Bitdefender Enterprise Support to validate the setup and activate DKIM signing feature for your email security account. After Bitdefender support enables DKIM signing for your account, outbound emails will start to be signed by the created rules. And this is all. The outbound emails will correctly validate and will not be considered spoofed anymore. Let's see that this works by sending a test mail.
Great. Now the DKIM test is passing OK. Thank you for taking the time to follow this tutorial. Make sure to also check out our other tutorials on Bitdefender Enterprise products. Also, for more information on our enterprise products, make sure to access our website at www.bitdefender.com/business.